Hey everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to another edition of Subscription Box Sunday. Today I have six different boxes to share with you all. This week we have the Cacao Box, some Lottie London PR, a Journal Junk Box, the Entry Envy Box, the Simply Earth Box, and the Chic beauty box. With that, welcome back to all the sub box lovers out there. Welcome if you're new. My name is Katrina and on my channel I unbox lots of subscription boxes. So if you like these Sunday videos, definitely make sure to give this one a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on future uploads. And let's dive in. I am so happy that you're here hanging out with me today, unboxing all of these boxes. Um, I am really excited to dive inside. It is also now December. This is like the first December subscription box Sunday. Also, like how are we in December? It's crazy, like how do we get here? I blinked and we're here. Anyway, because it's December, it means we are in advent calendar season. Now, I don't bo unbox a lot of advent calendars on my channel because I just, I think some advent calendars are way overpriced. Like insanely overpriced and so I personally don't really share them on the channel plus this is a subscription box channel not necessarily an advent calendar channel however I did pick out a couple advent calendars the lost the tan the big advent calendar the body shop big advent calendar and then a uh, new version of the sticker advent calendar that I showed last year. So what I'll be doing, it will not be on YouTube, it'll be on my Instagram stories. Each day I'm gonna open the appropriate doors. So day one, I open door one, you know, that kind of thing. Um, of course, by the time this is going up, we're on day three. But um, I will be unboxing the advent calendars day by day over on my Instagram. So if you wanna kinda hang out with me throughout the month of December, at least up until the 24th of December, um, then that's a great way. It'll be a little bit more informal. There, trust me, there will not be makeup on my face a lot of the days. <laughs> Because you're gonna get real life Katrina and I'll some days I'll give day, day updates or let you know what's going on in my life So um, definitely check that out. My Instagram is subbox lover and I'll leave the link to that down in the description box below All right with that. Let's dive into the boxes themselves up first Let's dive into the cacao box for November of 2023 now, If you're not familiar with the cacao box you are missing out because this is a monthly chocolate subscription and it's not just any chocolate It's like a premium specialty chocolate bar subscription. The box is $45.99 a month. You get like four to five specialty craft chocolate bars inside. And it is pricey, but that's because these are nice bars of chocolate that are would be like expensive in store because a lot of these are bean to bar or they pay, um, you know, the, a lot of the people in the process fair wages. So you get really nice bars of chocolate in this box. Now this is sent to me free for review. In fact, everything in today's video was sent to me free for review and I do have a coupon for the cacao box where you can get five dollars off your first box. If you also need a last minute gift this makes a great gift if you want to get somebody who loves chocolate this subscription they would love it. When you open it up that is what it looks like. All the chocolates come in this little bag which kind of mimics like the cacao bean sacks and then you do also get a cacao box card that teaches you how to taste chocolate. So you taste it and it's really nice. So you prepare your palate, cleanse your palate, look, touch, smell, snap, taste, enjoy. It gives actual instructions for each of those. So if you think of like a wine tasting or whatever, this is like kind of the vibe that you can do. And I don't drink alcohol, so I don't get to do wine tasting and beer flights. I get to do my cacao box tasting instead, which I love. So this box does have four different chocolates and the colors on these are beautiful. Now, if you're subscribed to the cacao box, you do get an email each month that goes over the chocolate. So it's like an E, like you click on the link to see instead of having a printed pamphlet that tells you all about the bean, the bean to, bar, bean to bar, the maker of these bars and all the details, tasting notes, all that kind of stuff. The first bar that we have is from Maru Chocolate, which is one of the first bean to bar makers in Asia, which is very, very cool. So today we have their um, Baria 76% Bar, so it says a bar of powerfully aromatic chocolate made with beans from the hills of the Baria province with exceptionally high fruit notes 
possibly their most distinctive chocolate. So this is gonna be a fruity bar. Um, we are going to taste these as we go along because I can't not, I can't not y'all. It's just chocolate, we can't not. So when you open the Maru bars, we've gotten some of these before, I haven't tried this one. You do have them wrapped in gold foil. It kind of reminds me of like Willy Wonka vibes. Who's gonna go see Wonka? I need to go see that in theaters because I'm very excited for that movie. Um, so let's open this up. And this is the pattern on the chocolate bar there. All right, I took up a little piece, let's try it. That is my kind of bar. I love ones with the fruity notes. You get the fruity notes. It's, it tastes darker, a little darker than maybe a 76 that I would normally anticipate. I will say you do get some darker chocolates in the box. Sometimes you get some lighter chocolates, but just be prepared for darker chocolates. But I, you get to really taste the flavors. And when you taste all the bars, they taste so different. And that one's really, really good. I really like the flavor of it. And you get that just really fruity like raisins and cherries and like I don't know just like a deep nice fruity um I know raisins aren't fruit but they come from grapes which are fruit you know you know where I'm getting with it that was very very good the next bar is from original beans um and they venture into remote rainforests to source the world's rarest cacao beans and transform them and to the cultures of chocolate food and luxury, which is very cool. So this is their Piura Porcelana 75% bar. It says flavors of raspberry, dry prunes, and pecans divulge the secrets of this ultra rare white cacao. Nature's delicious mistake found along Peru's coastal desert, the habitat of a diverse and brightly a bright butterfly collection. So we got raspberry, dry prune, and pecan. So we're again rubbing another kind of fruity bar, but it has the nuttiness of the pecan. So I'm really excited to get inside of here. This one opens like so, and you've got a silver packaging there. Um, they do, like on a lot of these, the packaging is really nice and tells you a lot more about their process and about the bar. So this is kind of what the design of the bar is like, kind of some little like sunbursts on them. Let's try some. That is really good. It is fr fruity, but it's different. It's a lighter, brighter fruitiness, a little bit creamier than the other bar. Um, it kind of, I don't want to, it doesn't have the taste of banana, but there's something like banana peel in this. I don't really know. I'm making up things now. Um, um, it, the other bar was a little bit more bitter than this bar. I like both. The other one had maybe a deeper fruity flavor than this one does. And it's really cool trying like two fruity bars back to back and realizing that, wow, there's a really huge diversity between the two levels of fruitiness. So that was really, really yummy. I am very, very excited about all these bars so far. All right, up next we have a bar from Raka um, and they are devoted to making uncommonly delicious chocolate that captures the brighter, bolder, and fruitier side of cacao. All of their bars are made from scratch with unroasted cacao beans. Um, so this is their Maple and Nibs 75% bar. Um, so it says this maple sweetened bar tastes like a brownie straight out of the oven. Oh, wait, that sounds incredible. Um, it says rich and smooth on the inside, generously sprinkled with toasted nibs for a crispy, crunchy outside, a longtime factory favorite, perfect for those looking for an alternative to sugars. Um, this is earthy and fruity, so I guess it's sweetened with the maple. Ma a maple sounds perfect for like, this is November, so kind of a fall box. All right, so when you open it up, this is what it looks like. It just is, ooh, you can definitely see the cacao nibs on the back of it. And the bar did kind of break a little bit, but it's got these kind of like ridge shapes on the bar as well. Let's try it. I love the crunchiness of the cacao nibs. It really adds something to the bar. This one is very different from the other ones. It's lighter but it just has a different profile and you do get kind of the fruity earthiness of it. It's probably close, it's definitely closer to this bar than the other bar, but it's very, very different. Maybe not as depth, as deep of a depth of flavor, but it's so delicious. I feel like you get, do get a hint of like maple or maple essence. It's not like, you wouldn't taste it and be like, oh, this is, it's not like strong punch in your face maple. I'm used to like Vermonters who like, eat like the maple candies and things like that. It's not giving you that, but you do get that little hint of the mapleiness in it from the sweetening sweetening sweetener and that is a very delicious bar all right and then last but not least one of my favorite chocolate brands Omnom, which is from Reykjavik Iceland um they are a small batch craft chocolate maker um and they experiment with so many different and cool flavors with their bars um this one I think is more of a regular bar though um this is their Madagascar 66% bar and it's an example of the Mas Madagascar bean dark chocolate 
Um, the wonderful red berry fruit is balanced by both the earthiness and floral tang. Um, the Om Nom Company slow roasts their cacao at low temperatures to bring out the best flavors for their chocolate. So this has tasting notes of floral, fruity, and earthy. I don't know if I've ever tasted like a regular bar from them. I feel like it's always been like interesting different flavors. So I'm really excited to like kind of try that. Also their packaging is always so cool. So you slide that off and then you like open it up. You have the bar in the middle and that is the design of the bar. Let's taste it. Mmm, that was delicious. All these are so good. You get that fruity floralness, and right now, the chocolate's out of my mouth, and it kind of tastes like I just ate like a fruity floral food. It doesn't taste like I just ate chocolate. It leaves a really fruity floral, like you ate some like tropical fruit. I don't know, like not maybe not tropical, like a rosy fruit. I don't know, but it doesn't taste like rose, and it, it doesn't. It is hints of floraliness but it doesn't taste like flowers does that make sense i don't know it that's really good a really good bar i feel like we have a little bit more brighter bars like i would these would be bright to me this one would be a little bit deeper that's how i would define them but they're really really good it's so fun to taste them next to each other because they do genuinely taste so different and they're all so good in their own way so if you really love chocolate or you love somebody who really loves chocolate. Um, this is a great thing to get again, a great gift to give, and get some really, really nice chocolates. I just, I love this box, and I love being able to try all these different really cool bars of chocolate. Again, I do have that $5 off coupon code down below in case you're interested in signing up. All right, up next, let's dive into some Lottie London PR that they sent me. So there's a little card on top. It does say, get ready to light up the winter season like a disco ball and party the night away with the perfect holiday look. So it looks like they've given some different, like, or sent some different things that will be great for the holiday makeup season. Up first, we have a little palette. This is the Lottie London, the Jewels palette. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, the Jewels. It's a nine piece eyeshadow palette. And this is a look there. This is like a really nice holiday palette because you've got some kind of reds and pinks, those kind of berry colors for winter, but you've also got some really nice shimmers and neutrals. So really fun, like holiday look palette. There's one, two, three, four, five, maybe six shimmers. I, don't, I can't tell if the center one is a shimmer or not. It looks like it has little glitter particles in it. And then four mattes. So a nice little the jewels palette Ooh, this sounds amazing to me up next we have an oil slick duo which i'm guessing is like a lip gloss moment and these are in hot cocoa and marshmallow these are nourishing lip oils Ooh, i'm so stoked on these okay they're like really taped in this box they're like stuck to like the thing this is crazy i mean they, they're like they were like literally like glued stuck to the lid oh my goodness i don't know why they have them so in there that seems crazy um so we get the hot cocoa and the marshmallow i'm curious if they smell of anything like oh my god does it smell like hot cocoa i'm so curious it smells like hot cocoa oh my god that smells so good if I didn't have a lip gloss on right now, I'd still be putting that. This smells exactly like hot cocoa. So let's see, does this one smell like marshmallows? Let's see. Ooh, this does not smell like marshmallow. This smells fruity to me, but it smells so nice. Ooh, a nice like fruity lip balm kind of moment. So two little oil slicks. I am obsessed with those. Those are stunning. Ooh, then we also have their Diamond Bounce Illuminating Highlighter. It does look like mine is, oh, about to die. What's going on here? This one's like, mm. So mine is cracked and it does seem, seem like the pan is a little loose. So I'm just gonna hold it that way. I do wanna kind of swatch because this looks stunning. Nice little, oh, let me go in again. Okay, it's not like crazy pigmented, Ooh, but it adds a really nice sparkle. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but it's really nice and sparkly and glittery. Um, if you want to add like glitter to your look or to your face, I feel like this is a good one where it's not like gonna turn you white because some of the things like this will turn you white, but this just adds a nice little glitter sheen to your skin. So this would be stunning. This would be great on like chest or collarbones, even down your arms if you want to be sparkly like for a holiday party and things like that. So very nice. This is in the shade Frosted. All right, up next we have this here, which I believe is an eye foil in the shade Shady, I think it is. So it's a nice little metallic eyeshadow topper, really pretty color. I'm not gonna swatch it only because I don't really like to use a lot of these like cream eye products, um, but it is a really, really pretty color for the holiday season, kind of copper, pink, gold moment as a little eyeshadow topper moment. 
And then last but not least, they did send this. This is their super fake false fact mascara. So it's in the shade black. It does come just in a white tube. And ooh, this is a cool bristle. It's kind of like um, short synthetic long brush, tiny little nibs. And so I'm so curious how that will work. Um, but a nice little mascara, very, very cool. So that is everything in the little PR box that Lottie London sent my way. So thank you, Lottie London. These are so fun and so cool. Um, so if you want to try out some of these holiday products for a holiday look, they do carry Lottie London in Walmart. So it's really easy to get. Um, if you want to go get, um, go out and get them. They do also mention some nail gems, which I don't actually have, I don't think, in my box. So just FYI, there's some nail gems that are part of like the holiday collection. Well, I don't know if this is a holiday collection, but they'll be great for a little holiday look as well. All right, up next, we're gonna dive into a journal junk box. Now, I don't know if this is the regular journal junk box or maybe if this is like their mystery box because it has this big red bow. So I'm gonna open it and then we're gonna figure out what this is. I took a peek and this is what I kind of thought it might be and I'm really excited. So this is their Christmas Countdown Mystery Bundle, which is $49.99 um, and basically include, includes 24 specially wrapped items for you to open as you count down to Christmas. So this is like basically a little advent calendar moment. <gasps> Okay, this is so fun. I'll definitely leave a link down below if you're interested in signing up. I do have a coupon code, but I don't know. I don't think it would apply to this, but I'll put it down below. I do have a 15% off coupon code. Again, I don't know if it, it works with this. Now, if you don't know Journal Junk Box's subscription, it's a monthly stationary subscription. So this little bundle is gonna be filled with different little stationary items and everything is packed for each of the 24 days. Okay, let's go through it now. And if you have one of these already, or you think you want to get it and you don't want to be spoiled, then um, you can go ahead. I timestamp all the boxes down below and you can just skip to the next one. If you don't want advent calendar spoilers. All right, this is number one. I will kind of like, everything is wrapped super nicely and has like the numbers on them. But because we have 24 things to get to and other subscription boxes, um, I'm just gonna move pretty quickly through these so I won't show like each individual wrap thing, but I'll say what number each thing is. So door number one, we have a Versacolor green tea stamping pad. Very cool. So you can a little green stamp on some of your Christmas cards. For number two, we have this here. This is the Mittens and Mistletoe. It's a set of 54 tags, which is great for the gift giving season. I think we got, I don't know if it's this exact one, but I feel like we got one of these in the November box. I always love getting new little gift tags in the, from Journal Junk Sack or inboxes or whatever, so that I don't have to go and buy them. So nice little um, tag set. Day three is this, it says Just Jingle. I don't know if this is meant to be like an ornament or just a little sign. It does say that this is a ornament. It does say it's an ornament. I'd probably, it's a little big for me for an ornament, but you do just a little sign. So you get that there. Now, because this is an overstock box, I don't know if every single person gets the same stuff for each day or not. That's one thing I don't know. Um, so just keep that in mind, but it's very fun so far. Day four is a washi tape day. You get three like thin washi tapes. You get one with little like pine cones and berries and things. You get a peppermint one and then you get this green polka dot one. Now this one is wavy, the green one. I don't know if you can tell, but it's not, it like waves a little bit as well, which is a very cool. Day at five, you get some cute little clips from Heidi Swap and a six piece clip set with some white and some black ones. Ooh, for number six, we also get another thing from Mittens and Mistletoes and these cute little like, um, what are the enamel dot point stickers? Oh, I love these. These are really, really cute. You can use them on Christmas cards, on your wrapping, journaling, anything you want. Then day seven, we do have a little heartfelt notepad. It's got the little um, elastic here. And then on the inside, that's what it looks like. It is like, it's bound like that. And the back is really pretty as well. So nice little notepad. All right, day eight, I think we have, are these cards? Okay, some blank little cards. They all look a little bit different. Ooh, the Holly one's really pretty. Oh, and then three envelopes. So it's three cards and three envelopes. I really love this little Holly one. So a nice little card set. Ooh, number nine is some sticky notes from Heidi Swap. 
Um, they're for each day of the week. So they have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, fun day, which are really cute for a planner or just if you wanna get organized, you can put little notes on them. Ooh, I love these. These are from Antique Garden and these are little embellishments. They basically kind of look like little wax seals with ribbons on them. I don't know why it doesn't want to focus. So I'm guessing you can take these off and like stick these on a little letter or just, you know, in a journal, whatever you want to. And they have little like pearls on them too. I don't know if it's going to try to focus. Very, very pretty. Up next from Ashuka Studios, we have their Happy Place journaling cards which is a set of 20 and that was for day 11. So just a bunch of variety of these little cards in there. I think that's what they, some of them look like on the back. Day 12, we have a little straw and like the brush cleaner combo. And I believe it's, oh yeah, it's a nice gold straw. And you get the little brush cleaner in there as well. All right, up next on day 13, we get these Evergreen Holly Holiday Magic stamps so i guess you can put them like in a stamp pad and then stamp them they're a little big for the little tiny stamp thing we got but i guess you could stamp it all over them and then stamp them wherever you want a very pretty on day 14 we have a set of 12 little colored pencils on day 15 we have a set of little puffy stickers it's a set of 135 and they're are they kind of Christmassy? A little bit, yeah. It's like yummy cookies for me and Santa Claus. Oh my gosh, there's so many cute little text things there. So some little um, Christmas stickers. Then for day 16, we have some more of these little like loose embellishments. There's a small pack and a big pack of them in there. And there's an example of them. There's 50 pieces in there. Then on day 17, we have the Point Planner sticker tabs set of 16. So I guess you can put those over like the manila folders or things like that and write on them. So a nice little set of those. Then on day 18, we do have this cute little like thin long notebook. Um, and on the inside, it's just plain pages. They're nice thick pages too. So nice little notebook. Ooh, for 19, we have a little watercolor paint set. That is so fun. Ooh, yay. Then on day 20, we have these cute pens from um, Amy Tangerine. Um, and these are four black ink pens, but they've just got some really fun colors for them. So that's very cool. Ooh, for day 21, we have this. This is the Evergreen Holly paper pad set. Ooh, okay. So you get some like full paper pad moments, but then you also have some smaller things here. I feel like this could be pretty to like cut out and put in journals or even just to like write on. Um, these are very, very nice. Then on day 22, you get this cute little three piece pen set. I feel like maybe I got this in a box before or something similar. So a really nice pen set. Ooh, on day 23, we get a little tea towel. It says Christmas tree, no, Christmas free delivery. And a little truck in the back with cute little presents. So nice little tea towel moment. And then finally on day 24, this is 24 day, not 25 day. We have a meal planner weekly eats. So on one side you have um, what you're gonna eat each day. And then on the other side you have a little shopping list and they're perforated so you can kind of tear them off for each week. So that is a very, very cool. And that is the, um, and that is everything in the little 24 day advent calendar, which is so much fun. So I will definitely leave a link down below in case you are interested in signing up. I really liked how Christmassy it was and how fun it was. And this is a great one where you can either keep everything inside or you can maybe gift some of the stuff on to as like little stocking stuffers as well. Up next, we have the Entry Envy Box for December. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Entry Envy Box, this is a monthly sign decor subscription kit. I don't know why I couldn't say that. So each month you get a decor to add to a sign. Now the signs are handmade by the owner. So you start off by purchasing one of the signs as a one-off purchase, not a subscription purchase. And then you can start your little entry MV sign decor box, which will keep you stylish for the season. Now entry MV was created by a single mom in Omaha and she wanted to be able to welcome her guests and girls home with signs and things like that, that would provide a beautiful decor for the season. And that's kind of how she came to have this subscription. Now I do have a sign and you're going to see last month's sign decor on it. Now this is their interior sign. Um, the sign itself is $59, fully custom made, really, really nice. 
I chose to have it say Katrina. Oops, I just dropped. That's my fault that the little pumpkin guy came off. Okay, um, but I'm gonna leave him off for now because we're about to redecorate this anyway. I chose the font, I chose the color, I chose what it said, um, I chose that it was hanging, and I chose that it was white, so you can cus fully customize the sign, and again, they're handmade, and they're really nice quality. They also have an exterior sign for $129, that one you can have, like, your house numbers on it, it looks so nice, and then they have the little MV box, which is $49 if you want to get that. So that's just for the sign, but then if you want to get the monthly decor subscription, it's $29.99 a month, so each month you can refill. I think there may also be a quarterly option as well that's a little bit more more expensive. But this subscription is great because it saves you time. You don't have to think about decorating. I am very busy between my regular job and doing YouTube. And so this is a great way to like keep the like things seasonal and fun. And I don't have to put a lot of thought or effort into it. It saves money because you're not having to go out and buy things in bulk. You get exactly what you need in the box. They make it super easy for you and shipping is free for this box as well. And I do have a 10% off coupon code in case you're interested in signing up. This also makes a really, really great gift. So if you wanted to gift the sign or subscription to somebody, um, I think it would be a really great gift as well. Now, I believe they do take your holiday preferences into account for the December box, at least for like me, they reached out to me to fill out a survey to make sure um, that I got the right one. I think I went with a Christmas theme, but obviously if you don't celebrate Christmas, there are other options um, for you as well um, for the month. So that I think is a really great um, thing for the December box. All right, when you open it up, this is what it looks like. This is the Home for the Holidays box, and I have the modern version. Now, even if everybody was getting the same thing, which obviously this month it might be a little bit different depending on um, what, what kind of theme you wanted, um, they do have different like options each month. So you will sign up for what style is yours. I have chosen the modern one. Um, so there are different options each month. So not everybody gets the same decor depending on your profile and preference. So the first thing to do, we're gonna decorate the kit here, is to remove everything from the old one. All right, now that everything is removed, we can get started. Actually, let me show you what's in this kit before we start building it, because I haven't even looked at what's in this. All right, first of all, we have the greenery, which is so, so cute. Look at the little sparkly, I don't, they look like pomegranates. I don't think that's what they are. Little, And then you get little, um, Frosted snow cone, snow cone, snow cones. Oh my gosh, no, that is a pine cone. Then we get this little bag. I think maybe this has a tea light in it. Yes, it does. So it has a little tea light candle and it sticks into the thing and then it does turn on as well. So you can have a nice little lit up candle moment. You also get a little Merry Christmas sign, which afterwards, I mean, you could use it as an ornament if you wanted to, but it does have the little thing that you can stick it in there with. And then this month they have little foam as like the bottom thing um, that you put in there. And it does come with these two little pins there so you can pin it into the little foam. Okay, so step one is to add all the little things in and then we'll put the little snow around the base. All right, and here is how I chose to style and decorate my sign. You can obviously move things around. I didn't turn the light on, but that's okay. Um, so you can style it how you want. You can move things around how you want, but I think it is a very, very cute little December sign. Again, I have the modern Christmas kit is what I would say. Um, but again, there was other options this month as well. So this could look, total, depending on what you get, what sign you get, what thing you get, your sign could look completely 100% different from mine. But I love this subscription. It's so great. You're also helping support a small women owned business. So again, I will leave that link down below. And again, I do have that 10% off coupon code down below in case you're interested in signing up or if you wanna get it as a gift for someone. Up next, let's dive into the Simply Earth box for December. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Simply Earth, this is a monthly DIY essential oil subscription where each month you get some essential oils and some materials and recipes that help you create DIY products for your home. Now each box has a different theme and the December theme is beauty. So everything in here will kind of help you create beauty products, but they've had so many different things. Like I think there was maybe a bathroom related one or kitchen products. Like there's so many different things that you get to make each month with a theme, which is so awesome. Another nice thing about this box um, is that 13% of their 
profits go to ending human trafficking, which I think is really, really great. And with all the products that you get, you get all the educational materials as well. There are um, hero courses where you get to learn how to use essential oils because essential oils can be a little bit scary and daunting to use. So you get all the education and materials through the subscription. So the box is $44.99 a month. The December box's value is $120.82. With your first box and every six months, you also get their like big box that comes with, so it's not just this one, it comes with a big one as well that comes with like little bottles and things like that, or like carrier oils, waxes, like the base stuff that you need to make some of the products. And then each month you get the specialized stuff in the box. So you kind of use both. Now I do have a code down below where you can get a free $45 gift card with a purchase of your first box. This is not a discount on your first box. In fact, you won't get the gift card until you pay for the box and then you'll get an email with the $45 gift card that you can use in their online store. So I will leave that for you down in the description box below. Again, this is a great Christmas gift option if you're still shopping around. Um, it's so fun to be able to like make your own products. It feels so good and so fun to be able to do that. So if you like doing that or if you have somebody in your life who does, this is a great box. When you open it up, that is what it looks like. We'll start with the essential oils and then we'll get into the other stuff. So the first essential oil that we have is Good Vibes, which I'm guessing is a blend. It is, so it has lavender, lemon, hogwood, geranium, and clary sage essential oil. This is child safe two plus. Then we have sage essential oil. This one is child safe 10 plus and uh, yeah, it's aromatic and tropical. Very cool. Excuse me, not tropical, it says topical. I was like, wait, sage is not tropical. <laughs> Ooh, then we have a marjoram essential oil. Um, this one is Child Safe 2 Plus. It's sweet and herbaceous, and the origin is Egypt. And the part plant of the part that they use for this is the flower and the leaf. And then last but not least, we get a little cedar wood essential oil, and this is Child Safe 2 Plus. Now there's other stuff in here too, but before we get to that, my favorite thing is the sticker sheet. <laughs> I love a sticker moment. Now you get these little stickers here, which go on the top of your essential oil. So a lot of people store them in like a box and that way you can see the top and know which one it is. So you see more than four here because there are gonna be some recipes where you can make your own little blend for the oil. And then you get all your little stickers, which are branding your product. So here we have like a roll on. So when you create the little roll on oil then you put the sticker on it and you like label your own products, which is so fun. Um, it looks like there's a lip crayon. So you like get to label all of your products. There's also a little um, beauty hero badge. So for each of the courses that you take each of the month, you get a little hero badge for that as well on here. All right, before we get into the recipes, we'll talk about some of the other things in here. So first up, we have two of these little Simply Earth and they move over. So I'm guessing maybe like a lip product potentially or a salve that you can put in there. So you get two of these little tins. Then we have a DIY mineral makeup base. We have some red iron oxide and some fuchsia mica powder. Ooh, I feel like we're gonna actually make makeup in this box, which is so cool. Then you have your recipe cards, which we're going to go through here. Um, the first one is a current wine lip crayon. Oh my goodness. Um, so pretty much everything that you get in the box is used for this, or not pretty, that's not what I meant. Pretty much, there, there's only one thing you need from home for this, which is a lip balm tube or similar container, and then everything else comes in the box. This is a two-sided one, and um, takes five minutes to do, plus cool time, and tells you like the shelf life yield, dilution rate, all that fun stuff as well. Then we have the monthlies roll-on oil. Everything you need comes in the box as well as the big box, so very cool. Ooh, a blush. Okay, um, we have the Dusty Rouge Blush, which is what one of those little cosmetics tins is for. Again, everything's in the box. Ooh, I'm okay. I kind of want to, this is cool. We get to make our own makeup, y'all. This is awesome. Pink lemonade eyeshadow. Are you kidding me? Okay, that must be what the other tin is for. I'm so here for this. <gasps> I want to make my own makeup, y'all. Now on the back of this one, it does give you important safety informations for pet and kids. So I always say for anything essential oil, please, please, please do your research if you have pets to make sure that it's safe for them. This does give you the kid safety, dog and cat safety and pregnancy safety. But if you have pets besides cat and dog, please do your research because different essential oils in different capacities can be toxic to pets. If they breathe them in, it can be toxic or if they taste them or eat them, like ingest them, it can be toxic. So just make sure you're doing your research. So 
Um, yeah, it tells you what age their kid's safe for, if their dog or cat's safe, and if their pregnancy's safe as well, which is really, really glad that they include that. Then we have the Enchanted Diffuser Blend. Again, everything from the box, except for the diffuser itself, um, is on that recipe card. And then last but not least, we have a Glow Serum. That sounds amazing. You just need a serum container from home and you have everything else in the kit. So that is everything in the December Simply Earth box, the beauty box. I think it's so fun. Also, you could make these makeup products and then gift them to somebody. Like you made that for them. Like that's just so cool. You wanted to make it for yourself, make it a little good for yourself, or if you wanna give it to somebody else, or if you wanna give the subscription to somebody else, I think this is a really great theme for a December box because it's a good like gifting type of box. So. If you're interested in signing up for this box, again, I do have that coupon code where you can get that free $45 gift card with the purchase of your first box. And I will leave that in the description box below. All right, up next, we're gonna dive into the Chic Beauty Box. I don't know which months this is for, but we'll open up and find out in a second because this is a bi-monthly box. So it comes every other month. So there's like two months that'll count for this box. So this box is a bi-monthly beauty subscription where you get five to six full-size beauty products inside that are supposed to be worth $100 or more. The price is $34.99 um, every other month plus shipping and you do fill out a beauty profile when you sign up and you're able to customize three to four items per box um, Because this one is sent to me free for review. I don't have a profile and this is not customized towards me But uh, let's go ahead and dive in so there's a little card on top and this is the November December box on the back It does list everything that you could have received, but you won't get all of these because again um, you will get them like based on the customization. So it does look like I have five different products in the box. Now I'm gonna have to start with the first thing cause it was huge and it didn't fit in the box. And it's this. This is from Ace Beauté and it's their Palette Bring the fun back into makeup. I have no idea what this is, but we're about to take this little cling film wrap off and figure it out. So it does say on the back, I took the film off, create endless combinations of makeup looks and have a blast doing it. You get 124 color palette. 24 shade cards, a notepad and two pencils and instructions. Okay, let's open this up. Okay, the inside of the box is really, really cute. So this is what you get. You get some instructions. Um, so what is the goal? It says the goal. Uh, it's time to let your makeup guard down and reminisce about the days when makeup was all about having fun. Um, and I think this basically is gonna give you like color up like options of what you have to do. So there's a solo player game and a two or more player game. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me look at this. So we have this and then we have get to know your eye. So it shows you the different parts of your eye. So I'm guessing you have to put colors on certain things. And then you also get a little notepad um, about what you need to put in the crease and the shade name and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then some challenge times for lash lashes or lips. Inside you do get a little thing of cards um, and then you get two little pencils at the bottom as well and then I'm guessing this is the palette so let's pull the palette out <gasps> oh my goodness this is so I'm so excited look at all the colors <gasps> oh this is gonna be so much fun I feel like honestly maybe I'll play this on Christmas with like my mom and my sister and that's how we'll do our makeup for the day um, so you lay the cards face down in any order and then you turn any two cards over picture side up Cards must be completely flipped over and the goal is to get a matching pair of cards. When a match is made, discard the pair to the side. Then you, so if you take the matching pair and you pick the winning shade by determining the card with the higher card value of the matching pair. Um, the winning shade name and card value are the written in the player's notepad. So the crease will be the first winning card, the outer corner the second, the lid the third and the inner corner, and then the lower lash line. Um, then there's also a trophy icon, so if the matching pair contains a card with a trophy icon, the card with the trophy icon is the winning card, except when paired, whatever, so whatever, whatever. Uh, the end of the game is over when all five winning shades have been determined. It's now time to take on the challenge, and um, I guess you do your eyeshadow look. Oh, that's so fun. Again, it's different with two players, but that's so, I love this concept. This is such an original concept, and I think it's so fun, and... This might be the most exciting palette thing I've ever gotten in a box before. It's a $50 value in a $35 box. And I am so excited for this to like do a fun little look. I think this will be good for like my sister Rachel because she doesn't do a lot of color and this would like force that to happen. So 
I'm not gonna say that this will be a future video because honestly right now I'm too stressed to like plan that type of thing, but this is a, that's a very, very, very cool product to get in a box. That might be like a top tier product. Up next, we have a product from Bare Minerals, and this is their Lux Performance Brush, which retails for $32. I feel like this was like maybe a foundation. It's a perfecting face brush, but it has that like hole or divot in the center where like you can get the product and then spread it around. So, ooh, very, very cool to get a Bare Minerals brush. And we also have another product from Bare Minerals. This is their Mineralist Hydra Smooth Lipstick for $22. And I got mine in the shade Honesty, which looks kind of like a pink color, but let's take a peek. So it comes in like a kind of champagne type color. Ooh, it's, oh, it smells fruity. I don't, I wasn't expecting the lipstick to smell fruity. I feel like normally it's a lip gloss that does. So a really pretty kind of pinky color there and oh it smells so good then from cover girl we have their super center hyper girl glow highlighter which retails for seven dollars so pretty it's kind of like a light champagne color vibe going on there nice little highlighter this box does tend to have like really nice brands mixed with some more like drugstore brands and then from gavisi beauty we have their retro liner for twelve dollars i wonder what it says marigold Ooh, it's gonna be orange liner Okay, it's not orange, it's poop. <laughs> Be honest, I don't know what I think about this color. It's like a brown liner. I was hoping for a more fun color. This is definitely not bad, but I, it, it it's not my favorite color, I'm gonna be honest. Maybe it'll look really nice on the eyes, but it's kind of a, a poopy kind of color. <laughs> I don't know, it's kind of weird. Um, but still fun to get a colored liner. Now, um, even if you get the same product, it might be a different shade as well. So those are the products that I got in my box. The other um, items that are listed here that you could have received, received uh, was the Cab Cosmetics Day and Night Eyeshadow Palette for $52. The NARS Cosmetics Precision Lip Liner for $24, the Revlon Double Sided Facial Cleansing Brush for $16.79, or from NYX Cosmetics, there was the High Definition Blush for $9.99. I thought this was actually a really nice box, and this is what wins it, because I think this is so fun, such a cool concept, and I am just really excited for this. The only thing about this is if you're playing from, with more than one person, you're dipping into the same eyeshadow palette, so if you have, like, sanitary concerns about you know whatever and things touching the eyes then you may not want to share it but if not i think it's a, such a fun little moment there so very very cool i don't have a code for this box but i will leave the link down below in case you're interested in signing up and that is everything in this week's subscription box sunday so now let's talk favorite product favorite box favorite box is gonna gonna have to go to the cacao box because all of those chocolates were so incredibly delicious and as far as favorite product, you're not gonna be surprised when I say it. it's this Ace Beauté Palettopoly. I think this is one of the cooler things that I've gotten in a subscription box or like most unique, like it's something I haven't really seen before. So I think that's so, so, so cool. But definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. What is your favorite box, your favorite product? Again, don't forget, I have got um, the advent calendar stories going up on my Instagram stories for, um, well, not the rest of the month, but through the 24th of December. So definitely make sure that you check that out and hang out with me over there. If you like this video, definitely make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on future uploads. And I'll see you in my next video.